in a Russian work camp. And my brother Tito was finally let off on bad behavior. Yes, you heard that right. They simply couldn't have him around any longer. It's October, ladies and gentlemen. So you better pucker up, because daddy's coming home. Survive the playoffs. We've got to survive the playoffs to make it to the Wheel of Mud Super Bowl, the first of hopefully many. We fought hard this season, and we've got a shot at the playoffs. We got to go undefeated to make it to the Super Bowl. Here is our current team. We got Lamar Jackson at quarterback. Devon Achan and CJ2K as our running backs. Wes Welker, CD Lamb, and Amon St. Brown at wide receiver. A very solid looking offensive line with Jack Conklin as our best player up there. Dalton Kincaid at tight end. Still no backup though. We got Silver Sam Laporta. Defensively, it's Paul Krause, Fred Warner, Chance Campbell, Charles Haley, Richard Sherman, Derek Stingley, Aiden Hutchinson, Mean Joe Green, JJ Watt. And headed into this very crucial playoff game, I think Oren Burks could get an up Upgrade. I think Harrison Smith could definitely get an upgrade. Antonio Cromartie could definitely get an upgrade. JJ Watt could get an upgrade. And I definitely need a backup tight end because I use them all the time. Let's get down to business, ladies and gentlemen. Now remember, this is the playoffs, meaning we've only got two wheel spins. So we got to make them count. Oh, that was so close. That was so close to being a really cool sentence. But still, a game time set player should be good. Gotta remember who's in this though. So here's the game time set right here. We can choose one of any of these players. So the only thing that we don't have access to is the limited. So there's any of the players you could get out of this set. And there's honestly a lot of them. There's a CJ Stroud who would be a really big upgrade on Lamar. But I think Lamar is going to be good enough. Michael would be nasty. And he'd go in for JJ Watt. So that's... Probably our best pick right now. Bowers would be a backup tight end. Patrick Queen's good, but we don't need it. Holland could go in for Harrison Smith. Don't need Aaron Jones. I do think Micah Parsons is the right option here. I hate to take Micah because I already have CeeDee Lamb on this team, but he's way too good to not have in. The only issue is both Aiden Hutchinson and Micah Parsons are right ends, so somebody's playing out of position. Yeah, so now J.J. Watt can come out at left end and in can go Micah Parsons. Micah Parsons is plus 12 speed, plus plus. 7 Excel on JJ Watt. He is so much better. I'm also going to set Charles Haley as my backup sub linebacker. All right, defense did just get a really big upgrade. Micah Parsons is going to fly off that edge. You got Mike on one edge. You got Aiden Hutchinson on the other. And Mean Joe Green, a very fast D tackle in the middle. That's That looks really good. All right, we start off with an awesome wheel spin. 87 overall, Micah Parsons. That's going to be huge for the playoffs. Our second is an 8. Okay. I was worried that this wasn't going to be good enough. This is not a huge spin for the playoffs, but it guarantees me a backup tight end. And I seriously need a backup tight end. Every single time that 69 overall Sam Laporta has the football, it is a liability. He is so, dude, those silvers are so fumble prone. That's the biggest fear. We could pick up Mark Andrews. He recently dropped me. zero points in fantasy Nigga. for me. So I am not picking up Mark Andrews. Good try, buddy. Uh, you're washed. George Kittle. Now here's a tight end who puts up fantasy points. He just plays the game the right way. George Kittle, you are a Detroit Lions. Yeah, this team was already nasty, but we just added George Kittle and Micah Parsons. Huge additions. I'm super excited about it, but we're still rocking an 83 overall. Let's see if that's enough to get us our first playoff win of Madden 25. I am actually so nervous, but I'm so excited. 84 offense, 84 defense is somehow an 83 overall, but we don't ask those questions. So what we do is we spin the challenge wheel because it could just be huge. Completing this challenge gives us one of any pack in the store. Oh, shit. The halfback triple crown. This is a unique challenge. I haven't gotten this one very often. But my halfback needs the triple crown, meaning he needs more rushing yards, more receiving yards, and more touchdowns than my opponent's running back. So, Devon A. Chan, it's going to be a big game for you. It usually is anyway. And holy shit. Oh, my God. That was 89-90 overalls. Oh, let's play ball. Let's play ball, buddy. They've got the divisional logo on the field. I like to see that. Although, so I think if you make the Super Bowl, I think it goes to four-minute quarters. But even with the divisional logo on this field, it's still three-minute quarters, which I'm a little bit shocked by. He's got Will Levis at QB. Let's hope, let's hope it's a lore accurate Will Levis and he turns the ball over. That'd be very nice. He's just going to run this ball to the edge with guess who? Vaughn Achan. Five yards right there. He's an I for Are you seriously going to I-form stretch with Vaughn Achan the entire game? He actually might, but it's honestly so bagged right now. Michael Parsons drops him. Will Levis in empty here. I'm on Ken Houston. I'm just in base man coverage. We might give up something here. I just want to see what his offense looks like. Ooh! 
Tries to throw the slant? Ken Houston! Oh, I almost go all the way with Ken Houston. Let's go. What a start. A user lurk to kick this game off. That's what I like to see. We got motion halfback choice here. And I'm deciding for Devon A. Chan. First and goal. Well, two can play the stretch game, buddy. Just kidding. What the fuck kind of blitz allows you to sack the quarterback before he hands the ball off? I, I guarantee he's in this defense the entire game because it's some glitchy ass defense from fucking YouTube.com. That shitty ass app, YouTube.com. All right, second and goal. He's gonna be an absolute fucking heater, man. Blitz is all game is. Dude, what the actual fuck am I playing against? What the fuck is this? I'm snapping the ball and I'm sacked? I swear to God, every single year, these kids find these glitchy ass blitzes and it takes EA two months to patch them. And that's what today is gonna be about. Nope, I'm not. It's it's gonna be a screamer like that every single time, isn't it? And my kicker can't make a 49 yard football. So I'm being encouraged to punt this football. I cannot believe EA lets kids do this year in, year out. My only chance is that Aminra or CD just torched their man. Just gotta throw the ball instantly and pray, honestly. Fucking fucking pussy. How's that YouTube.com blitz going for you, bud? Oh, when you have to switch on and make a play, you can't actually make a play. You were just praying that your glitch blitz would just hold the fort down for you all game. That is the most satisfying thing I've done in a long, long time. And he just got a blocked kick animation and he fucked it up. Oh yeah, let's hang on to this lead, boys. Let's hang on to this lead. And while I do that, I have to now, I know how to go on YouTube to figure out how to beat this. Cause I just, I got so lucky right there. Okay, you're just gonna hand him a kick return. I mean, in fairness, I wasn't looking, but still, let's just retard. So fucking stupid. He never got touched. Was I supposed to put my kicker in a good position to tackle him? Cause you got to walk it to the end zone. So we, like numbers wise, we should have the blockers for this. Let's see. So we actually do have the blockers that time. At least I didn't get insta sack. Once again, we should have the blockers here. And there's Wes Welker, absolutely wide open. Does he switch on to make this? Wes Welker out of bounds. That was a beautiful play to beat that. He's really going to run this all game. We got to make sure we have the blockers every single time. I'm going to go zone fake jet since it's mid blitz. Ooh. I thought that because that was... Like, look at those block sheds. God, EA, you really put out a dog shit game every year, huh? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to win, though. And it's going to be the most satisfying win of my life. I think he's shading inside. Which means I can throw that. I literally just, I just have to continue to play a perfect game. If I make any mistakes at all, we're cooked. Who's on Devon Achan? Okay, that was supposedly a perfect ball to Devon Achan. It went literally nowhere. I have to continue to try different formations too. I can't, I can't run the same play over and over and over. I can't let him key on me. This is fucking hilarious. He's gonna do this the whole game. Can I throw a slant to Aminra here? No, I don't need to though. So we got Achan. I'm actually gonna try an inside zone. I don't think I can run the ball since there's so many. Like, what the fuck? What the actual fuck? Can we run that back? What the fuck are we doing? You make this game so unplayable. He didn't even block shit anybody. He just spawned in the backfield. Second and 12. Achan, oh my God, he missed the fucking throw. That's a touchdown. Oh. I wonder if I can get Dalton Kincaid on a post. He thinks it's a corner route. Oh, I, just, I can't even throw it. I can't even fucking throw it because of this glitch ass blitz. I have the numbers to block that too. Dude, the first two months of Madden are always the most insufferable because there's always a play like this, always. His only touchdown is a kick return. So let's see if we can actually cover this time. He returned it to the left side last time for the return. Let's see if he tries that this time. Nope. He's in the same formation like he's gonna run stretch again. Let's see if that's the case. Run stretch again. I am super confused right now. Let's that go all the way to second and six. I'm in cover four here. Playing the pass. Oh, and you're so lucky I didn't pick you again. I had that with Ken Houston. Got your fucking ass. I got a house this to win this game. 
Six seconds from the seven. I got to score here. I have to score this. I can't just go for a field goal. So he's pulling his guy over. Massive play here. Got him. This is going to feel so fucking good. Oh, it's, it's extra funny that his offense is so ass. He's in the playoffs. This guy got in the playoffs by abusing this broken ass defense game in and game out. And it makes me so mad. I could never imagine playing the game like this. Why don't we make this game 17 to seven and uh, I get the ball half. Let's get on a linebacker and actually go like defend this. Let's see which way he goes. Beautiful. Offense abilities look good. Nothing to change here. Defense abilities also look great. Nothing to change here. 17 to 7. I get the ball. He's not onside kicking because on his opening drive, we turned. In fact, every time he's touched a football, we've turned him over. So we're doing just fine. This is a silver, though. So we need to kneel this football. And now we need to continue to move the football. Every single play, I have to lock in with the maximum attention. Otherwise, I will get sacked instantly, lose yards, and we will be cooked. Because he is never going to stop running mid -blitz. Literally never. There's Wes Welker for an easy six yards, clock's ticking. You're gonna cheese? You're gonna run mid blitz zero because you found it on youtube.com? I'd like to introduce you to my friend, Chew Clock. And yes, just like me, he banged your mother. Second and four. Two seconds on the clock. I'm gonna snap this wide zone to Devon. Hey, Chad, who's gonna cut it up? Your user's so dog shit! I'm saving that play. Wide zone. That was a really effective way to beat this nonsense. Honestly, drive was too. If I had completed this pass earlier to Devon Achan, he was so cooked. Also, by the way, if you just have a speed demon wide receiver, you can beat this. But this early in Madden, that's kind of the problem. This early in Madden, there's no players that are good enough against... You're so ass. There's no players good enough to beat the press man coverage. So what these kids do is they buy the best defensive players, they press man, and then when Christmas rolls around, man coverage is no longer good because all the wide receivers can beat it. But this early, they can't. That's why it looks like this every year. First and 10, 10 point lead. One, there's the snap. We're going right back. Like that's how busted this this uh, blitz is, by the way. Can we watch that again? This blitz is so busted that I have now been sacked twice on run plays. Twice on run plays, I've been sacked. Could you, could you throw me a fucking ball? All right, third and 15, big play here. I'm gonna just try and hit Kincaid. And I'm gonna probably get sacked. That's actually so bad. I did not try to do that. I was just trying to get that to Kincaid. Then I, I got in so much trouble that I was... I think I am gonna punt this, actually. I have a two-possession lead. I don't... I have never really punt dotted before, but I'm hoping I can right here. Wait, that looks so good. At least inside the 10. Punt takes him to the 11. He's gotta go 89 yards. And so far, I think he has eight offensive yards. I think that's what he's rocking with right now. This could be a run, so I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna pass him in. Oh, huh? why the fuck didn't you jump? Tyreek Hill's little ass jumped and you didn't jump Richard Sherman? Dude, he's seven inches shorter than you. That's crazy. He throws a quick one, gets hammered for it. This guy has ran two plays all game. Shock wide receiver option and what's the last one? And mid blitz zero. Oh, what the fuck? What? I'm standing on the ball, holding Y. I can't wait to be done with Wheel of Up. What did he say? Like, I'm going to win this game, and it's so unbelievably unenjoyable. I want college football back so bad. All right, I'm on Ken Houston, first and 10. Is Mark Andrews open here? I hope not. We know it's a pass. First and goal. Nice play. That was his first good touchdown. The fact he didn't turn that ball over twice on that drive, though, I wonder if he has to onside kick at this point. I wish I hadn't gotten out of range with Lamar earlier. Would have been a really, really big, uh, really big play. Okay. I actually was able to get Wes Welker in position to return the kick, so we will get to return the kick. <laughs> oh my god, you like that! gonna say it guys this game is so fucking bad <laughs> i want to love it i want to love it so badly but now that i play college football it's so hard to play this game <laughs> oh what are you pissed seti are you pissed the game gifted you seven they can't gift me seven you know seti now what we are seti is we're even that's what we are now now it's a clean slate also i'm aware that i'm being a toxic asshole towards my opponent right now but let me make one thing super clear it is not this dude's fault that ea makes it like this every year if ea spent more time balancing the 
game, there wouldn't be shit like this every season. Oh yes, are you a giant loser if you play like this? Yes, you are. But EA is putting it in the game, not you. It's not like these kids are breaking the game or something. I can't get to this. Oh, I actually could have. Regardless, you get my point, right? He only has one timeout left, by the way. So even if he scores a touchdown here, he's in a lot of trouble. And I don't think he can go through another drive without throwing a pick. This time he gets sacked. Finally get a little pressure, Aiden Hutchinson. I thought he got subbed out of this lineup. I guess JJ Watt's still grinding. Third and 17, he's going to Cheetah. He's going deep to Cheetah. We gotta go, we just gotta go cover him, Paul Krause. Okay, no, he throws to Maserati Mar for the one-hander. Unfortunately, uh, the YouTube.com defenses don't work if you don't have a YouTube.com offense. And oh my God, Paul Krause. Oh my God. I couldn't get Richard Sherman to jump. Paul Krause just jumped about four feet. Honestly, the main difference between this game and college football is this game is completely driven by animation. Like 100% of this game is just animation based. Ooh, that's a bummer for you, buddy. <laughs> I got 10 yards on that. I don't think I got my challenge though. That is such a satisfying playoff win, but it's so, like it took all of my brain power and it was just not a blast. All right, running this to the right side is user's dog shit. Okay, he made a tackle. I take it back, I take it back, I take it back, I take it back. Just gotta continue to hang out to this football and this is GG's. Three, two, one, we'll go inside zone right up the gut. Third and 12, big hit from him. And yeah, I mean, we QB Neil this football and it's ball game. Guys, if you want to know the setup, nickel double mug, mid blitz zero, pinch your D-line, press your DBs, play over the top. That's your one-stop trick to having no father figure in your life. Now we put the football in his GGs. Ironically, the best way for me to win this game would be to shotgun pass, run directly backwards. But I actually, I should work on my punting. Silver punter Taylor, fourth and 13. That is not a punt dot. Actually kind of is. All right, he's got 20 seconds and 87 yards to go. Would also need an onside kick and he has no timeouts. I gotta go find a headset. I gotta talk shit. I can't find my headset. Also, if I plug in my headset, then you guys don't get his audio. Oh. Isn't that so funny? If you don't run no huddle, you can just teleport to the line and lose no play clock. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Dude, when I see shit like that, it turns me into such a toxic piece of shit. I would literally rather lose to someone running a legitimate offense and defense than beat someone running that. I do like going to the Super Bowl, and that is a huge, huge, huge win. I don't know, maybe if you ran mid blitz one more time, you might win. Something is something is seriously broken with this game. Something is seriously wrong with the coding. When a six-man blitz against five produces three untouched players, untouched, three of them. Like, even if I broke two, two sacks, I'm getting sacked by the third. Something is seriously wrong with the game. And like, let me be clear, if he's blitzing six against five, he should have an untouched blitzer. Duh. This is just the funniest fucking piece of karma, though. That he's got two untouched blitzers here. <laughs> and I just beam topped his ass with Aminra. <laughs> But right here is where we started to figure it out though. So he sent in all that mid blitz. We blocked our tight end. We blocked Devon A. Chan. And we come out here. We hit the whip route to Wes Welker. He misses his tackle because he's dog shit. Misses his next one because he's dog shit. And Wes Welker takes a big 40 banger. Lamar, eight for 11, two touchdowns. Will Levis, six for 14, four interceptions. A. Chan was six for 25. Okay, so let's see if we got this. Okay, his A. Chan only had eight yards. So technically my A. Chan has this right now. Receiving, he didn't throw a single pass to A-Chan. My A-Chan had 27. The only problem is I had no touchdowns with Devon A-Chan. I can't confidently count this. Kincaid and Amon were clutched up with our touchdowns, but um, I really can't, I can't count this for Devon A-Chan. Honestly, gentlemen, after recording like that, like, I want to apologize. I hate, like, I really like to be a positive person and be fun and entertaining, but that really actually genuinely pisses me off so bad. Like, it, it makes me so mad playing a game like that. I don't know how to stop being that pissed off. I want this Wheel of Mutt Super Bowl ring bad. No matter what I say, I want that shit bad. And I love you. And I'll see you in the next year. Peace.